Hi everyone, Very Sarah here. It's been a while between videos, um, because I just, I think I'm an overthinker. I think I'm an overthinker. Uh, yeah, and I just overthink my way out of making videos because I don't know what to say or I'll get an idea and then doubt myself and yeah, so anyway, there's just been a big pile of nothing. <laughs> Sorry. We've had full moons and Beltane down here in Oz and heaps of really cool stuff happening that I thought I would be able to share, but alas, no. <laughs> so, um, I guess what I've decided to do instead is just do it. Just make a damn video, whether I'm ready or not or think I'm ready or not and just put it out there. I want to start sharing more about my magical arts practice, the painting, sculpting, makering side of my life, and how that intersects with the witchery. And it's interesting that journey. It links in with my art therapy background and how I use art for healing. And yeah, art has just become another way that spirit talks to me. And it's nice to connect into that world and it opens up this inner realm of the spirits and deities and fairy realm, nature realm. And the art really collides there beautifully. So I want to share that too, but I don't know, I just get a bit overwhelmed or I don't even know where to begin. And I think, well, do I just set up a tripod in the art room and make away and natter box at you while I'm doing it? I don't know. Names. <laughs> I've made friends with a really beautiful owl, the tawny frog mouth, which could be a night jar, it's a relative of an owl, and I've been going to visit it a lot, it's in the park near our house, and uh, it's had a baby, which is the cutest little round thing, oh my god, so I want to take you and show you that too, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I just got to kick this self-doubt to the curb. Hmm. I don't know where all this fear comes from. Well, I do, but I don't know why it's still hanging around. It's kind of like, it's tiring. I feel frightened to, I think I feel frightened to be myself here. I don't know why. I feel frightened of sharing. This witchcraft is like the most important thing in my whole life. I think it's more important than my artwork. And so I kind of worry that if some person's going to troll on my page and say I'm doing it wrong or judge me or criticize me, I guess it's just reflecting the inner judge that criticizes and judges me in there because I'm doing it my own way. It's different from books I read or teachers I've had. I, I respect those things, but it's never gelled for me. And then I go and make it up and do it my own way. And I guess I've got giant imposter syndrome. And so I think, oh no, don't share. And then you can't get hurt. No one can burn you, chuck you off the edge of the cliff or tell you what you're doing's wrong. Break your little fairy heart. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's good to talk about it. It's good to get vulnerable. To lean into the discomfort. Knowing it. And push on anyway. So, this is me pushing on. So, magical practice wise. What's been happening? Meditation. Nature walks, keeping my eyes peeled for things that spark when I go out, whether that be a tree or a new flower or snails or sorts of different things. For Beltane, I went for a really big nature walk. I went to the space where there's an urban forest near our house. I'll take you there one day. It's 
really, really cool. It's got lots of beautiful plants that are native to Australia rather than the gorgeous introduced English species. And so it's this really rich environment that's very seasonal in a different way. In its true native way, I guess. There's a little grass patch and I went there for my first autumn equinox of Melbourne when we got here. And then I've watched it change over this cycle of the year and went back today, or today, last weekend for Beltane and yeah, it's, it's beautiful, it's amazing. There's herbs that grow and beautiful bird life, my goodness. And I did cartwheels for the first time in so long. I thought I had forgotten how to do cartwheels. In fact, I do remember telling my friend probably July last year that I was appalled at myself. Like it felt like a real marker of becoming an adult that I no longer knew how to cartwheel. And so all of a sudden this energy surge just came through me. I'd set up a spirit painting on the ground, like an altar of collected things from the walk. I was tuning into the energy of Beltane, which to me has been, I'm feeling the uh, pull between, uh, like we've had Halloween on the 31st and then in the Northern Hemisphere anyway, but I feel it down here because, you know, people are slowly cottoning on to the fun and games, although it's pretty plastic down here in Oz. It's certainly nothing compared to what I've seen in the Northern Hemisphere, um, but Anyway, so there's Halloween commercially celebrated. Then on the 1st of November is the Day of the Dead, and I feel this, like, Mexican ancestral thing going on. And then, um, Beltane officially was marked on the 7th, which is the halfway point between spring equinox and the summer solstice to come. And I'm feeling this link between the Halloween or Samhain of the northern hemisphere or the other side of the wheel and the Beltane so it's like this sex and death and the pull between the two and what are these symbolizing what are they meaning for me and I felt like I was standing in the middle actually rather than on either side of this wheel and in the middle it's all about unity I worked on through the iron pentacle um, earlier this year with uh, Gede Palmer and Jane Meredith and they have a cool book um, I'll do a link to it down below anyway so I did an online workshop with them and the point of sex on the Iron Pentacle came to mean unity, spirit uh, of the five elements sex was spirit and the other five points of the pentagram of the iron pentacle became the other points of that uh, traditional elemental pentagram but sex was definitely spirit for me and it came to mean unity consciousness and being able to come to a sense of uh, peace with what is uh, with what is sex in life for me and also uh that point of creation and so I got thinking about sex which is such a Beltane kind of topic and how it related to death because death is the other side of the wheel and I I kind of feel like polarities are meant to be danced together that's how we get to the unity consciousness the spirit portal at the center and death really is unity consciousness too like it's the escape from this illusion of separation death opens us up to unity consci consciousness again it's spirit as well so I created a spirit painting at the park and the energy surged through my body and so I cartwheeled I just friggin cartwheeled I did do a holy <laughs> yippee guy motherfucker at the end of it I was really friggin uh, proud of myself <laughs> I was so happy there was a lot of squealing going on and so I just kept doing them. I even did a run-up cartwheel. And I don't know, it was just like this pushing this energy through my body and the excitement and joy. And I guess that's life. 
like being a child and doing cartwheels like if I could have gotten from A to B as a child cartwheeling would have been my modus preferus if that's a thing <laughs> let's make it a thing so anyway uh, yes there we go cartwheeling very magical act get onto it other things in magical life that have been going on um, so the new uh, full moon that just came marked me moving into the next phase of things I want to work with so I just did some work with candle magic over the last month some reading and some making of candles which is very cool and so now we just have the Taurian full moon so I am delving into earth based matters and if you saw a post I did recently on dandelion jumping into my life again quite loudly I have decided to um, use the carry on with this flow and um, the call of all of these herbs and trees around me and do an earth based month so it's probably going to be cultivation of herbs um, I'll probably work shamanically again with another herb. I'm not sure if it will be revisiting dandelion again or if it will be a different herb. We'll see what goes on. But yeah, I'm just delving into the world that is the wonder of herbs, which is very close to the heart, so that's exciting. I want to um, delve into some tea leaf reading too. It's been um, niggling at me just to have a little bit of play and fun with the divination. So I reckon that'll be on the cards with um, using some magical herbal teas. That'll be super cool. So yeah, maybe I just make videos of these practices as we go along. Share the shiz. <laughs> Art-wise, um, just be making and playing. I've got an illustration project starting soon, so it's just been prepping for that. There are markets coming up in December, prepping for that. Yeah. I should share these with you, rather than having you sitting in stasis in my bedroom. <laughs> okay, next time, I'll take you out and about. I'll show you some things, we'll actually get practical. Yeah, okay. Well, um, maybe if you have any pointers on where to get ideas and, um, what next for this youtube -ness adventure that I'm on for a little newbie like me if you could uh, share ideas perhaps do so thanks for the love everybody um yeah I'll talk again soon nice to see you we'll be here talking to you <laughs> blessed be